Uh, I would like to inform that uh, the economy, the status of the economy of the Penang State will still remain as our party's main and prioritized focus. Uh, this, the economy of the Penang State will definitely determine the quality of life. The economy is good, people is prosperous, able to buy their houses, able to send their kids for good education, able to uh, promote the culture, their religion. But if the economy is no good, economy is down, then the people will not be able to do so. Therefore, the quality of life will continue to slide. Now, you can see that for the past two years, for the past two years, there is mushrooming of roadside hoppers. Mushrooming of roadside hoppers. And this mushrooming of roadside hawkers, without proper planning, without proper control. You can see that since 1986, economic slump, economic recession. 1997, economic recession. Now, recently for the past two years, during the economic recession, during the, these two big recession period, I still remember that the first indication is the mushrooming of the roadside hawkers and illegal hawkers coming up. Because the people will tend to have no other income, other ways of income, and that the only way and easy way is to set up stalls regardless by the roadside, by the roadside to earn extra living. So this is the first uh, indication of an economic downturn. And another very important eco economic downturn indicators is at the foreign direct investment in Penang. Foreign direct investment. And you can see, we have been always talking about the importance of attracting more foreign direct investment to Penang. And you can see that from the figures that has been provided, in 2008, the foreign direct investment in Penang. In Penang in 2008, where Barisan still held the government, the foreign investment that time in 2008 was 10.2 billion. And 2009, it actually went down to only 2.2 billion. A downfall of minus 79%. Compared to the national average of in 2008, it's 62.8% and in 2009, 32.6%. Uh, 30, 32, sorry, 62.8 billion and in 2009, 32.6 billion. A slide of only 38%. In Penang, there was a slide of 79%, minus 79%. Whereas a national average of slide was only 48%. Why Penang? Why Penang? With good infrastructure, with good track records, foreign investment, FDI, should slide the highest amongst the national average. National average minus 48, Penang minus 79. And for this year, foreign investment, direct investment, from what we can get from uh, Matric, until the uh, middle of this year, we have gotten only 90, 930 million, not even 1 billion. 0.93 billion foreign direct investment. Uh, so this is another very good indicator of the uh, economy that is sliding down. So I think this remains as our main focus and main priority as Party Grakan always, always worries about the livelihood 
of the Penang guys. We understand, we understand that the Chief Minister Lim Guan Ying has gone out of the country in this year alone. He has gone out of the country about nine times to the various countries to so-called to attract foreign investment, to attract foreign investment. Just only, I think, he has gone uh, to uh, he has gone uh, to Singapore, and we feel that although although attracting new investment is important, but more importantly is for him as the chief of the state to ensure that the present investors, the present investment, they should be feeling comfortable and the state government should create a conducive environment for the existing investors. I think this is more important. And to do so, the state government not only have to work very hard with the local authorities, with PDCs, to ensure that the basic infrastructure are, are in place, there should be there should be less traffic congestion. There should be talking to the rapid Penang of how to shuttle workers instead of using their own transport. There should be enough of street lighting so that security of the area. There should be flood mitigation process, the flood mitigation plan in place. And there should be security is one of the main reasons for, 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 for foreign investors. So therefore, the state government must work very closely with the police to ensure that the security and the safety of the free trade zone of the uh, 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 of the whole state uh, is at the level of uh, uh, what we can be uh, proud of. So the state government must work towards a very conducive environment for foreign investors. So therefore, Parti Grakan being a very being a very uh, people orientated and people caring especially Penangites. We are committed. We are committed. We are committed. Before that, I think the Penang state government must work closely with the federal agencies, must work closely with the federal agencies and the ministries, especially METI, MATRE, etc., so that the factories and investors in Penang can have the best bargain, can have the best bargain. Penang Grakan is committed to work with the state government to ensure a conducive investment environment for investors through our channels, especially our newly appointed Matrix Chairman, Dato Ma Siukyong. We are in the process of making arrangement for Dr. Ma Siu Kiong to visit Penang as soon as possible. And maybe by the mid of November, that is next month, to meet up with investors, existing investors in Penang, and also with Matrix officials, so as to see what role we can play. He himself, as the Matrix chairman, and we as Penang uh, Grakan, we had all the experiences behind us. See how we can help to promote reinvestment in Penang, making a conducive, more conducive environment for the investors, and also to attract foreign investors. I think this less than one million until now foreign investors is something that worries us a lot. Worries us a lot. I think we will play our role and we will play, uh, our, we will make use of all our uh, resources uh, even to work with the 
uh, PR government within one in to ensure that uh, there should be uh, more investors coming into Penang.